Hello, brothers and sisters in Hardwell's family. May we all be given the grace to let go when we must, trusting the Lord that he has something better in store. The first song the Lord played in the morning was from Laura Hackett called Lift Up Your Head. The lyrics go, breathe, darling, breathe. It's not yet time for you to leave. Don't lose hope. Let your heart believe and hold out faith. Sun rays rise, shining down upon your face. Prophesy an appointed end to suffering. Love will have its day. Keep on in the way. Yeah, love will have its day. Keep on in the way. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Your sorrow you will forget when joy comes quickly. Crying will end. Wounds he will mend. And stories be penned of the faithful. My heart dropped. Because I always take this song seriously. He's used this song every time I thought I was called to Ghana and then found out it was a lying spirit or some delay would happen. Then the following song was called Well of Tears. I thought, no, Lord, not again. I received so many confirmations, not another humiliation or delay. So into the Bible promises, bracing myself for the truth. And I asked the Lord, am I still called to go on this trip? I got joy. I was relieved and confused, wondering, are the demons getting to my playlist? They can't do that. But what's going on? I then pulled three raiments to get more clarity from my card file. And the three I received were, pray for Nak and Rashad, which is a soul I know and her boyfriend. They have three children together. The second Rama said, my perfect will you are doing. Thank you. He told me that the most perfect and holy soul is the one that does the will of the Father. But there are not many such, and that he looks with special love upon the soul who lives his will. And Jesus told me that I was doing the will of God perfectly. And for this reason, I'm uniting myself with you and communing with you in a special and intimate way. I thought, wow, that was encouraging. The last Raymond then said, blessed. Galatians 5, verses 16 through 17. I say this to you, let the Holy Spirit lead you in each step, that you will not please your sinful old selves. The things your old selves want to do are against what the Holy Spirit wants. The Holy Spirit does not agree with what our sinful old selves want. These two are against each other. So you can't do what you want to do. I thought to myself, very interesting, Lord. Okay, if I'm your perfect will, then what were those songs about? And lust? Am I my flesh in anything? After prayer, I came before the Lord. Good morning, Lord. There's so much confusion this morning. Please help me to sift through the truth. I took a deep breath and said, Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, I trust you. And I heard, I'm right here, beloved. You are being buffeted. As I pondered more, Holy Spirit gave more insight and referred the last rhema to the soul in her situation that was about her boyfriend and discerned that from the Lord and got confirmation. Lord, so these songs you played, it's about the soul? Jesus began, yes, beloved. And sometimes songs are not directed at you, but for those around you. I speak to you in so many ways, beloved. Those songs were for the soul. Oh, wow, Lord. All I've said concerning you, meaning the trip, guys, is true, beloved. Please don't doubt again. Continue to move forward. The devils are trying to bring much confusion over thinking and doubt and things I'm telling you to do in preparation for this trip. Seal my words in your heart once and for all. It has been confirmed by your covering, and you are my perfect will, beloved. Do not fear. Now concerning the soul, she's been in a dark valley for a while. How I love her soul. She has no idea the consolation and joy she brings me. And I can't wait for that moment that she truly recognizes my conceivable presence in her life daily. And she communes with me daily as my bride. The time is soon approaching. Although she smiles on the surface, she's desperately trying to hold it all together on the inside. A well of tears she has cried because of her situation and this love that is now lost. Encourage her with these words. Now Jesus begins speaking to the soul. My beloved daughter, you are everything to me. Absolutely everything to me. I'm in this darkness with you. And the chambers of your heart is where I rest with you, console you, and comfort you. I'm right here, beloved, right here. I know in your situation you want to leave. And you have every right to. But stay a little longer for the sake of your little ones. 
Stay. They are in need of you and their father in the days and weeks ahead. Do not worry yourself where you will go or what you will be doing. I've already prepared the way for you if you'd but trust me. At the appointed time, I'll make a way. And in your walking away will be filled with much peace, leading you right to the place I've prepared for you. Leaving now would be premature. Don't allow your feelings to roll. What you're dealing with in him is a spirit of lust and perversion. Pray for him, beloved one. That is why I have you here. Pray for him fervently daily against the spirit that has consumed and seeks to ruin his life and the destiny that I have for him. Remove your personal feelings, although very hard, and pray for him as a soul who is in desperate need of my salvation and grace. I'm using you as a tool of salvation for him. When all is said and put behind you, you will be dear friends to one another, raising your children up in my ways. But now you're expecting so much from a man who's broken, riddled with sin and shame, and a man that I've not appointed for you as your husband. I know the words given to you was a very hard pill to swallow, as you've dismissed them and forging ahead to make this work. But my beloved beauty, I have something so much better in store for you. And as an aside, guys, I received a message from the Lord for her before concerning her situation and boyfriend. And the Lord exposed he was living a double life and struggling with hidden sexual identity issues. That is the reason he was distant, and she had been hurting because of that. The Lord told her to move on, that he was now given the grace for another to be a husband and a father to her children. But the letter was too hard to take in as the truth, and she defended him instead and continued to stay. And now, just as Jesus said, everything is unraveling. Jesus continued, In my will you will find peace, contentment, and joy. I have all that are waiting for you. Do not worry. There is one that I have destined for you who will see you truly as you are and take these children as their own. Do not worry, beloved one, for now wait on me. Don't make any hasty decisions because of feeling or lack thereof. Your redemption is drawing nigh. You don't have much longer, beloved. Wait on me. I have something beautiful right around the corner. Don't put your hope in the relationship any longer, but put it in me. I will not disappoint you, my beloved one. I'm here to wipe every tear and give you joy for your mourning. I love you. Trust in me. I will not fail you. And that was the end of Jesus' message. What a beautiful, comforting message. You see, Jesus cares about every detail of your life. Nothing escapes him. I mean, nothing. I had no idea what the soul was going through. I immediately texted her asking if everything was okay. And she mentioned that their lease was up and the boyfriend was struggling with smoking. And because of that, got in trouble with the apartment complex. They had a week to find a new place, and they were being denied for everything. I thought, hmm, maybe the Lord's talking about her not leaving the apartment? She texts me later, saying, oh, I was going to leave him as well. Then I was amazed in the accuracy of the message and the Lord's words to her. We talked on the phone, and I read to her the message, and she was profoundly grateful this time and received it all. She was a bit disappointed because she had invested so much thinking things would change. But she was at peace now because she was very wary in the relationship and was okay with the Lord's instructions, trusting he had someone else in mind at the right time. So family, please keep this soul and her situation in prayer. Help me to pray for this young man for deliverance and freedom from the Spirit and for the precious three girls who are such a joy. God bless you, family. Thank you for your support and generosity. Until the next message.